By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, and we are opening some mail today. Um, and this is from Italy, and I'm really excited because it took a while uh, for it to arrive, and I think... If all is right with this package, it'll have my foreign black-bordered Italian lance. And this is one I've, I already have. Um, I need a few more because I'd like to have 22 from each basic lance so that I can play with them in um, monocolor decks. And I can just, you know, I can just combine them any way I want to. And um, what I, w I would like to point out is the difference between the different foreign black-bordered basic lands. And if you look closely, you can probably spot it because it's in the tap symbol. This is a German island, and as you can see, it has the modern tap sim symbol. Here we go. And when we look at this one, it has the older tap symbol, the tap symbol that we know from Revised, uh, The Dark, Legends, uh, Fallen Empires. So this is kind of my generation tap symbol versus the tap symbol that was introduced in the fourth edition. At least that was the first time that I saw it. Um, and this is a German one. I believe the French one also has this modern tap symbol. So actually the Italian one is the only one with this revised tap symbol. So that's how I kind of call it because of my experience and background as a magic player. So that's just what I wanted to point out. And in this package, let's, so uh, let's try to open it up. It's, um, wow, there's tape everywhere on this. So it's very well packed. And, uh, let's see, let's see if I can open it where I have my scissors somewhere. And this is a package from en Enrico, by the way, from Venice, Italy. So Enrico, thank you very much for sending this. Oh, wow. Okay, there should be, okay, there's an opening. Look at that, it's proper cardboard. I'm really happy that Enrico did this because that may that means that it's well protected. Oh, there's an address there on the back, so I'll just make sure that's not visible. And here we go. You know, I mean, posts here in the Netherlands and like international posts, especially, is taking a lot longer because of everything that's going on. So that's of course completely understandable. So, but you're still, you know, you're a little bit anxious because you just don't know. I mean, things get lost in the mail even under normal circumstances. So it's always kind of a tense moment, you know, is my package going to arrive? So I'm very happy that it did. And my, this is a lot, a lot of work here to open this. But I'm really happy with the solid packing. There we go. Okay, let me clean this up here. <clears throat> so, here we are. We've got an opening here. And this is really a brick full of basics. Oh, nice, we've got a message. <laughs> Very cool. Use Google Translator. I don't speak any Italian. Well, not the kind of Italian that can translate this. So um, I'm going to translate it. If you speak Italian, you can probably translate this for yourself. Let me know in the comments below what it what it says. No, no don't, don't, don't tell me. I'll go to Google Translate. And let's have a look. Wow. Look at this. Wow. This is something special. This is the foreign black bordered revised starter deck box. Wow, amazing. I really love these. I have a few um, deck boxes myself. And I can actually get one, but I don't have an Italian one, of course. So this is very special. Um, I actually, not too long ago, um, I got this revised booster box. Um, from a very good magic friend, uh, Gideon. 
a Dutch Magic player like myself, he gave me this box and you would probably expect me to have revised in here, but actually I have my revised boxes over here. So it's nice to maybe look at the difference. So this is a revised box and this is the Italian box. And I mean, you can see the resemblance, but this is much, this co these colors are much brighter. It's darker. I love this emblem here, obviously the, look at that. This is just blank here on the original revised one. And the Italian one has this cool logo. And they have set base and here it says starter deck. I wonder if these stories are also different. And uh, I'm actually in this one, I'm keeping my um, revised commons. So I have a few boxes where I just keep all my revised common cards. But wow, 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 wow. Very beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up. Let's, let's start with this. And let's see what's in here. Uh, and here you go. These are the basic lands. And that's such a nice bonus to have them in such a beautiful pack. So I'm just gonna go through them and look at the condition of these. Beautiful condition. Wow. Just gotta smell them, they smell wonderful. And here we go. Oh, let's make sure that you can see them too. <laughs> so, just your basic lands, but really special, really crisp. What a condition these are in, and these are old, you know, this is old basic lands, and still to have them in this condition, that's very special. And I'm really looking forward to kind of use these in my decks because it means you can play with Blackboard at Lance. Wow. And like I said, just this tap symbol, it's just what I, what I really love about them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic. So let me put them back in this wonderful box. Wow. I think I even like the box more than the lands. I mean, I love the lands, but this box, it's really something, something special. So here we go. This is the box. Let's, let's go back because we have some more in here. And look at this. We, <laughs> we played, uh, we played some Fallen Empire. So I guess, oh, look at that. It's a token. I didn't even notice. Ah, these are token cards. Oh, how cool. This is a citizen token. Oh, it's stuck on here. So it's stuck on a real magic card and you can use them as citizen tokens. Cause I played, actually the video is online where I play against uh, Enrico with a, um, um, with an Ecation uh, towns, or I should say an Ecation army deck. And I also play with Acacian Town, so when I have these, I can actually use these as citizen tokens. That's so cool. So we have these tokens here. And this this artwork is interesting. I don't know this artwork. Very cool. It also has 2020 here. All those cards have that actually. Does it zoom in? Yeah. 2020. The nice, ah, it's really nice. It's really nice. Let's see. Oh, we've got some rolling tokens. And it's also the old frame. So it, it really matches. Wow. I am definitely going to use these. I'm definitely going to use these when I'm playing uh, with my Fallen Empire decks. Wow. Oh, this is cool. Kamarit. And you're probably wondering what is a Kamarit. If you play Fallen Empires and you use a card called Spawning Bed, and I'm, I'm not going to show it. If you know what it is, you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It's a hilarious card. So if you're playing with Spawning Bed, um, it actually makes these tokens, Kamarit tokens. And and they're... Ah, wow, this is a really nice one. Look at the crap. <laughs> wow, the little turtles. They don't look very dangerous, no, but they are many. Okay, now I have to build a deck. Just because of these tokens, I have to build a deck with Spawning Bed. Look at that. Wow. So nice. 
so nice. So nice. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Rook egg tokens. And this is really nice. I've actually seen uh, Enrico play with these, I believe. And I recently acquired uh, a playset of Rook eggs. And I've made a deck with them, the uh, the Orc deck. So I'm really happy to have Rook tokens. Wow, fantastic. Very nice and well made. They're very sturdy. If I also take it out, I mean, it's obviously they stuck it on here, but very, they did a very good job. Very quality printing. Wow, really nice. And we've got one more and another one. Let's have a look here, a Sand Warrior token. So I guess these are all tokens that you can use, custom-made tokens. So this is for the Sand Warriors. If you've got uh, uh, Tassasin of, uh, of something, I have to look it up. It's Sand Warrior tokens, very cool. Wow, and these Wolves of the Hunt. And I can tell you actually, Enrico, that my brother recently Acquired a playset, I believe, uh, of Master of the Hunt. Um, so I will definitely borrow these out to him when he's playing with that deck. Wow, this is so cool. I know it's Ice Age, but this is the art is so cool. Hasazon of Tamar, that's the name of the card, by the way. Just to rewind to the Sand Warrior tokens, but this, wow, this is so cool. Wolves of the Hunt. Ah, wasp token with flying, of course, uh, when you're playing with the hive. Wow. When you have these tokens, you just want to brew with these cards. Uh, I'm really happy with this one, the Tetravite tokens, because I uh, I play with Tetravas every once in a while. And it's always difficult when you're uh, recording a match on the channel and you're, you know, you're putting these little counters and it's really hard to see. Is it a plus one plus one counter? Is it a creature? All that stuff. Um, it is very old school though. This is how, how everybody used to do it. But of course I'm going to use these now. Wow, Tetravite tokens. Goblin tokens. <laughs> Look at this little guy. What's happening here? Wow. And I believe it's a mixture of like existing art and... and, and Art that um, I believe this uh, artist made here, Guzo Bochetto. But please let me know in the comments below if, if it's all art that can be related to existing magic cards because some of the art I don't recognize. Um, of course, Stang. So Stang, of course, is a 3-4 creature that makes a copy of itself when it comes in the battlefield because it's a twin, so the twin comes with it. This card, surprisingly enough, isn't... Well, I don't know if it's surprising, but it's not played that well, because you would think you get a two for one, you get two creatures for the price of one, and it's a three four, so you cannot bolt it. So it's 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 it should be played a little bit more, I think, than it is played. Maybe, you know what, maybe I'll go and play with it now that I have this one. Um, ah, Thrall token. Again, very happy, because I love playing with um, Fallen Empire. These are some scary tokens. Oh, this is cool. Wow, that is a cool thrill token. This is not art from a magic card, I can tell you that. This must be custom made, right? Wow. And we've got a minor demon. Oh, that's of that other card. Oh, what's it called again? Also, again, a legends that can make demon tokens. And we have a few more, I think four of each. Oh, Suleiman Jin. This is sweet because I have a play set of these, of the bottle of Suleiman or Suleiman. Uh, wow, really cool. Sometimes challenging your luck comes at a very high price. That's true because what you have to do with the bottle, you have to pay one, then you have to flip a coin and you have to call heads or tails. And when you're right, you actually get a 5-5 five, five flyer, but when you're wrong, you get nothing. Well, you get five damage and that's it. So your bottle is gone and you get five damage or your bottle is gone and you get a 5-5 five, five flyer. 
really nice art. And we're almost at the end. Ah, Poison Snake. Of course, it's with uh, Serpent Generator. You can make these creatures. I've tried, I've tried like many people before me. Well, actually I haven't tried it seriously, but in my head I've tried to make Serpent Generator work, but um, yeah, it's just really difficult. If, if you have a good deck with Serpent Generator, let me know. And these are the poisonous snakes. Wow, 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 amazing. Thank you so much. Wow, look at this. These tokens are just badass. They are just simply badass. So I can't wait to play with these. And also that box, fantastic. And of course those lands. I can really, you know, if you wanna have black bordered lands with the, you know, the revised tap symbol, then it's really the way to go to go for the, uh, the Italian foreign black bordered lands. They're the only lands that are black bordered and have this T symbol. I don't know why I like it so much, but I like it. Um, thank you for watching uh, this episode, this mail day episode here on the channel, here on Timmy Talks. If you wanna support me, if you wanna support the channel, um, you can leave a comment uh, below. You can like us, you can subscribe on Timmy Talks. Um, you can not use ad blocker, that really helps. Uh, so thank you for people that are not doing that. And if you're doing that also fine, um, but it helps if, if you don't do it. Um, and also you can now support the the channel on Patreon. Um, so there's a link popping up right now. So you can just have a look on the Patreon page and uh, yeah, and consider becoming a patron because that really helps. And talking about the patrons, we are now going to the end scroll of uh, Timmy Talks where we see all the patrons that support the channel. Let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken What shall we do with the drunken What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee!